don't remember much about it, um, except waking up and being, my arm was stuck underneath the wheel of the van and I was trying to pull it out and people were saying, just stay there. And I said, no, I'll, I'll just get my arm out and then I'll be on my way home. Not realising that there was sort of serious injuries to my legs and everywhere. And then I, I don't remember much else. After that, it all became a bit of a blur. I, I was looking at the ceiling, still wondering whether I was dead, whether I was in a dream. I was going to wake up and I'd be in my bed and it'd be time to get up and, and carry on with the day. Just the feeling of being able to walk again just putting one leg in front of another. It's, it's, I just feel, it, you're just up on cloud nine. Just those, for those few minutes, it's worth, worth it. There, there is a future beyond an accident. Life's gonna be different, but it doesn't have to be bad. We care for a wide variety of clients here and a wide variety of ages. We have a mix of clients who have got spinal injuries, brain injury, orthopaedic trauma, amputee clients and also clients with neurological conditions. It's probably one of the most memorable moments since opening steps is uh, when I came into the hydrotherapy pool to take a photo of one of our clients because I knew she was in the pool. She was in the pool with her daughter and it was the first time she had walked holding her daughter since her, her daughter was born. That's the difference we can make here. Uh, you can't put a price on that. Um, we're very, very lucky to have a hydrotherapy pool here at STEPS. It's a great modality for treatments. It complements land-based therapies. It can be used for a wide range of conditions. It is a very good therapeutic tool to have here. Uh, we've received quite a lot of national press interest, which is just fabulous. Um, we're so different and the approach we have to rehab is, is what's getting us the attention. We're always looking at new innovation within the rehabilitation sector. For example, we had an exoskeleton demo day. Three exoskeletons uh, were brought to steps. We were able to show them off and uh, try them with different clients. It was a fantastic day. You're never bored, never ever bored. There's always something going on and all the staff are so welcoming. They're there to help you no matter what you need. And I love the music therapy, that's probably my favourite thing to do. And also wheelchair dance, because I came from that background, um, music and dance, and art as well. Like all the creative things. <laughs> Steps is very family orientated. It was started by a family and I think that's fed through into the whole ethos of what we do here. It's about the whole dynamic and how the family can be involved in that, making sure that um, the, the journey, you might say, um, is complete getting them back to where they and their family need to be. My kids come all the time so I came the other day and one was in my bed with his iPad and the other one's in the TLU next door watching television so they just come and make themselves at home so and it's not an issue everybody knows who they are and uh, it's really good. Music therapy I mean it, music's not my obviously I like listening to it but it's not my thing at all and I was expecting God knows what but it was just on my list and I had to do it so I went and I was really shocked, it was really good, it's been one of the best things. I couldn't get out of this chair when I came, but I can get out of it now, so they've just worked on everything and, do you know what I mean, made me more mobile, definitely. There's such a strong sense of community here at Steps, you have to really visit to really feel it, but it's, very, it's something very, very special, um, it's a mix of the the staff team we've got, the families, the clients, it's um, a very, very special place.